we just basically drove into the forest. Got this to welcome us. We are having lunch over here, peeps. Wow, this is amazing. Um, so this is actually a resort. These are actually rooms that you can rent out, but it's in the middle of what looks like a jungle or a farm or whatever. That's why I thought they were that, but wow. Oh, I see what's going on over here. I see what's going on over here. You still see this. You don't see this, but you're about to in a second. Here we go. Look at that, peeps. You can actually get that table over there. Take the steps up and eat up there. It looks like a tree house and eat up there. Amazing. Oh, they got that one over there. So all of them are like on stilts, you know, just like raised up. Um, we're not really on the water right now. And I think that's because the tide is kind of low right now. But when the tide is high, the water probably comes up, which is why all of the seating is like that. It's traditional style. You sit on the floor, but they're all on stilts. This one's even higher. You take the steps all the way up. Super amazing. Check this out. They've got a bunch of birds chirping over here so you can hear that as well. Of course, Thai music also. Coffee shop over here. That looks like the kitchen over there. Peeps, I just want to introduce you guys also to the owner of this place, Mr. Hun. Yeah, Mun Tien. Hun Mun Tien okay. over here. Thank you very much. He's hosting us here for uh, lunch and it is just beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very thank much. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And by the way, peeps, if you're not feeling adventurous, you don't want to sit outside, you can come inside as well. They do have an indoor area also. Let me show it to you guys over here as well. They've got tables and everything. But why would you want to do that? Why? Why? When you've got this beautiful outdoors, the river, and just beautiful seating. Oh. It's a safari. Oh, safari. Oh, so the rooms have concepts. This one is the safari room. So look at that. Amazing. And this one is the sea. So this is outdoor. The sky. Oh, oh. oh you said it's a bird. Oh, amazing. So this is called the sky. This is where you can see and hear the birds. Oh, very nice. Sky, land, and sea. Oh, so it's sky, it's land. It's a concept. It's a concept. Sky, land, and sea. Okay. Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. Ooh, anybody want to go for a swim? I understand there might be alligators over here. This is the river, by the way. This is not the sea. So this is the... Triya Fraya River, I think, that kind of passes through all of Thailand. Yeah, you definitely don't want to go swimming, but you may want to take one of those boats that's about to pass by right there. There you go. I think it's raining. What an experience, because look where we're sitting. We're right up there. Let me show you guys where we are. Oh, peeps, look at this. All right, peeps, so come up here. You take off your sandals. And you come up here and this is traditional style so pick yourself a spot I want this spot because I want to look out into the river and they gave us these little mats on the floor so there's a little bit of cushioning whoa and you sit like this in yoga position ah, right over here Ooh, look at this yeah I don't know what to call it Kasamati. Kasamati. We call, uh, I don't know what we call it. We cross legs. Meditation pose. Meditation pose. I got it wrong. Thank you. Thanks, Pan Pan. This one, how you're gonna eat about that? Oh, miang kham. We call miang kham. So, we're gonna put everything inside. So, this one, a bit fish. Okay. This is like a coconut. Okay, like a fried coconut. Like fried coconut, yes. Okay. This is peanuts. Peanut, ginger. Yeah. Lime. Lime, yeah, and that's a lime with the skin. Fantastic. Onions. This is onions. Oh, it's Thai. They love chili. Chili, yeah. So they put some sauce in with this leaf and whole. And then you have to eat 
but one time. One time. So you can have. Oh my God! But you put a lot of chili in there. <laughs> How much chili is a lot? Two. Two pieces. <laughs> Two pieces of chili peeps. You think I can Do handle it? it? Yeah. Do it. Just, right. You have to buy all, buy slowly, buy all, can feel the smell of the vegetable. Can feel the spice? I can only feel the chili. <laughs> it's amazing because there are so many textures and so many flavors. The leaf, is it a copper lime leaf? Yeah, the leaf that got like the smell, right? Yeah, the leaf has that copper lime scent and then you basically got the lime with the skin so it's got that bitterness in it whoa it's super spicy but oh so nice Ooh. so that was amazing peeps that was actually an appetizer it was a do-it-yourself make-it-yourself appetizer using fresh river fish right here from thailand i'm gonna get a little bit of this soup over here this is a traditional soup i think it's made like the tom yum but it's got the mackerel tail in there. <laughs> so, I got lucky they gave me a tail. So let's get a little bit of this, this soup. I'm gonna drink it straight out of out of here. Oh, spicy! So this is it's spicy too. Yeah. It feels very peppery also. So it's got a different color than the normal tom yum soup. Oh my god! Whoa! Super spicy. Here we go, peeps. A little bit of that tail. So that's Thai mackerel, and usually Thai mackerel is uh, very pungent in terms of like a, a fish flavor. This one is like super, super fresh. I mean, it's super fresh. You can't even taste the fish. Yeah. This is supposed to be their signature super spicy sauce. Just gonna dip a little bit of it. Wow, that signature sauce is just phenomenal, peeps. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is this is the kind of thing that you want to pass down from like generation to generation and never tell anybody what's in there. It's that good. Super nice. And what you can do also is get some vegetables. Oh, vegetables with that spicy sauce as well. Oh, some of these green beans, the ones with the brew on both sides. Oh, yum. Alright, peeps, another couple of dishes I want to get to, like this one over here. It's got the shrimp, it's got these flowers, onions, sauce. That looks suspicious. Get over there, gonna get me some cashew nuts as well. Some that sauce on there. Ooh, I took the entire thing, peeps. Look at that. Everything on it. Oh my god. It's got the fried fish in there as well. So, gives it a crunch. Mm. Super fresh. Not so spicy. It's got cheese on top, but not on the inside. Alright, peeps. Another special dish over here, which are these prawns in a milk sauce. Look at that. Is that one milk? It's all boiled and it's like hardened a little bit. This is something special as well. That feels like I ate a lot of the skin of the shrimp, but wow. Does this have egg inside also? Yep. Mmm. Egg milk? Oh, so it's got egg and milk. That's why it was like hard like that, but wow. Very mellow. Nothing overpowering in that bowl. You really, really taste is the prawn, the shrimp. While I was eating, while I was talking, look what I was given. So I think that's butterfly pea on top. Yes. And the bottom looks like lemon, yeah. lemonade. So it's a lemonade with butterfly pea. Oh, yum. It's got a little bitterness to it, which I love. I love when you make lemonade, you make it the traditional style with the peel. So it has like that bitterness. I'm gonna mix it up. Now it's all purple. Now I got a purple drink. <laughs> So this is the sea bass peeps and it has been fried ah. super crispy. I took a piece very close to the tail. Mmm, very nice. I love that. Hold on, I want the brain. Oh yeah. yeah the, the part that's close. I'm gonna eat that with my hands, peeps. Yum, I'm very happy. 
Yeah, peeps, that was an amazing meal. You want to see what's left over? Basically half a fish right there. Everything else we just like devoured. There were eight people eating. The food was absolutely amazing, but what made it so much better is that we are up here in this tree house on top of the mangroves right by the river. Oh my god, what an experience. Now on to the next spot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Peeps, how many one of the first things that you ever do when you come to Thailand, which is you come to the floating market, except this time we're doing something very special. It's not just here. We're actually going to do the opposite of shopping and eating. Uh, Alright, guys, so we're here. So, what's happening is we're going into this boat and we're going to get foot massages. The complete opposite of anything you would do over here at the market. So uh, check this out guys. So this is a floating spa. <laughs> You're not careful. That's what's going to happen. You're going to hit your head. You got to stay low and come and sit on one side. I can't believe this is happening. It's amazing. Yeah, it's super cool. <laughs> Quick update for you guys, we are getting our the massages and the boat is running on the river. It's fairly calm except when another boat like, passes by and then what happens is they're like waves and they start jumping and things like that. I think they put some of that tiger ball on my feet because my feet are like tingling. They're like coldish, hottish. You know what I mean, right? I know you guys know what tiger ball is. If you don't, what do you use when you have pain? Like your legs, your back, or when you have a cold? You know, you put it over here, you put it like around your nose, you put it on your neck. You use tiger ball for everything. You don't? What is that? Oh, look at that. There is a big lizard in the water right there. Oh my god, my feet are like like ice hot. You know, from the medicine that they put on it. Super amazing. If you guys do come over to the floating market, make sure to look for this place over here. I can't read the sign, but right in front of it is the boat. You can't miss this because every other boat is basically a food boat or just a travel boat. This particular one is the floating spa. Super awesome. I just got up onto the bridge to show you guys what is down here. Now the primary reason to come to the floating markets is, well, it's a market. I mean, you've got markets on both sides of the banks of the river, but also you've got these boats, a lot of which sell different fruits, vegetables, and things like that. Also, you've got some of these boats that are restaurants. I mean, each one of these little boats is its own restaurant. They're cooking on them, they're preparing on them, and then you can sit on the steps over there, right by the water, and you can eat the food. It's super amazing. Look at that. Where else do you have something like that? Now, I think a lot of you guys have already been to the floating markets, but if you haven't, get yourself down here. It's about an hour and a half outside of Bangkok, but definitely worth the visit because all kinds of fruits, all kinds of vegetables, I mean everything. You can find clothes over here, you can find spices over here, and of course, you can eat over here as well. Super nice. All right, final spot treatment for the day and for this trip. We are at Grand Center Point in Archidamri, and the spa is upstairs. We just arrived. It's a long drive. It took such a long time because there was a lot of traffic, but ready to get to this final treatment. Body needs it, needs some recovery after all that food, after all that walking at the umbrella market. Because <sighs> you got 
to take off your shoes when you get here. Put on these sandals while you wait. Comfort, comfort. Another amazing treatment. I was on this bed which is full of hot sand right under this towel. Maybe I'll show you guys very quickly so you can see it right there. It's like little pebble sand and these lights were blue so a little while ago I was like Avatar. Fantastic treatment. I got this Tibetan bowls sound treatment and also like these this hot herbal bags all over my body right here so super amazing super relaxed on this last day so it's been absolutely amazing day i hope you enjoyed it now if you come to bangkok make sure you do all these things some of them are in bangkok some of them are outside of bangkok and once again if you do it post about it tag me in it and then thank me afterwards thanks peeps have a good night